What's up, Samurai? Today we're going to be taking a look at Outpath. Now, I've seen a few things on this game. Most of all, what interested me was the art direction, because obviously it's a voxel game and it's very, very colorful. Uh, I don't really know much else beyond that. I, I think the whole point of the game is to try and grow your island. And as you end up progressing further in the game, your island expands and becomes bigger and bigger. So we'll see. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, if you don't like the clicking things a lot, you can enable hold click mode now. Yes, please. I like the graphics immediately. I should gather some wood. I really like this. I didn't know that. Like, I really didn't know much about this. I knew that it was a graphical style I liked. I noticed the cubes. I didn't know that it just had like pixel stuff. Let's build a workbench. Uh, Q, all right. Um, structures menu. So there's utility, production, farming, magic, machinery, and base. <laughs> What's structure menu? Utility? That's a research table. Production? Workbench. Oh, I need fiber. Okay, okay. Dude, uh, this game might be my jam. <laughs> Uh, I'm kind of liking this a little too much. Okay. Um, wait. Copy the build. Oh my god. That's nice. Okay. So we can make flint, sand, mashed berries, this. A flint axe. One attack damage to trees. One attack damage to rocks, to creatures. So there is creatures. Okay. Flint, fibers. Can I make flint? No, because I need stone. And this needs flint as well. Okay. Pretty much everything needs flint. Now I'm curious if these resources end up coming back. And do we have a limited amount of inventory space? Oh, it doesn't seem like we do. It seems like we might just have an infinite amount. I mean, I could be mistaken. Oh, I can climb things. This is, oh, it's draining my hunger in the top left. I noticed that, okay. So we kind of got to be careful and manage that, I guess. Maybe that's where the farming aspect of the game will come into play. But so far it's kind of addicting just because it's the whole like collect-a-thon type of game. You know what I mean? Okay, so let's make a bunch of those. Oh, it's a timed craft. Ew. Oh, ew. Okay. So I could copy this, make an air crafting table so that it would spit out more and more and more. Let's craft that. So that's the axe. What about this? I need a lot more flint, fiber, and wood. Um. There we go. Oh, so these stones came back. I should research recipes at a research table. Okay, well, we'll see that in a second. Break the berry bush. Tree got, gets destroyed a lot quicker. I wonder if it is just going to auto equip items for me. That would be kind of nice. Oh, everything comes back. Okay, so these trees came back too. Interesting. That requires two berries. That we can make. Um, let's also try the research table. Ooh, I can just rotate it anywhere I want. That's nice. Oh, so there's an anvil, but then there's this bad boy right here, which requires 50 of this currency in the top left. Smelt ores and forge other types of items. Okay, so it's it's a crafting game then. But it does have weapons, which has me curious. Can I eat these? Oh, the recipe just unlocked. That scared me. Oh, that was the berry on its own, not the meal that I made. Okay, that gave me all of it back. Interesting. 
I like the minimalist like approach that they have to whoa okay so that costs a lot of money that costs a lot of money that costs a lot of money sleeping bag that seems fine and then I guess that was showing how much it costs to craft it Okay, so berry bushes show up as well. Destroying things is just giving me points, I see. Okay, it's kind of intuitive, a little bit. <laughs> so now I can put a sleeping bed down? No, because I need fibers and flowers. Okay. So grass gives me fiber. Flowers are over here. I just realized I can probably crank up my field of view in this game, but that's okay. Right now our world is so small it doesn't matter. Alright, what are these? I can expand or buy new islands in this monolith. Oh. Give me leather. Give me a spark fly. Give me copper ingots. Give me wood. 150? Jeez, that's expensive. Expand the biome. Okay, that's a really interesting little game loop, actually. It's kind of... It's kind of like a mobile game, in a way, where it's just... Like one of those tapping simulator games, you know? Like, tap, 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 get more resources, get more money. And then as we expand the biomes, it probably starts giving me more and more resources and money. You know? But let's see if we can end up getting our hands on the bed. And then maybe I could do, uh, expand the island. And see what happens with that. But let's see if we can make a bed first. Nice, okay. Whoa! So it just time time goes by like in real time. Okay. Now if I can make like a bridge and do like other custom stuff, that would be cool. Collecting net. Catches objects in the sea from time to time. Sometimes even fish. Sometimes fish. Spinning wheel allows you to craft various useful items. Okay, let's try expanding. Maybe we'll expand the island first. Flint sword attacks creatures. Attacks mounds and plants. Okay. Requires more flint, though. I, I kind of feel like this is a game that would very much benefit from auto tool swapping rather than me having to manually equip them all. But let's see what happens when we expand the island. Oh! Whoa. Okay. And now we got new stuff? Information allows you to see important information about some builds. Skill unlocked. Informative. What? What does that mean? Do... Does it mean like if I look at this now, it'll show... Sleeping restores your maximum energy. I think it said that before though, right? Deforest. Oh my. Magic. Oh, the farming net. There it is. Okay. Let's see. Is this new resource? Mound of sand. Yeah, because the spear said mounds. Skill unlocked. Wallop. Enables hold click mode. Oh, okay. Tools doesn't have durability. We're just slowly like getting more and more. Okay, that's how we unequip stuff. Interesting. Hmm. <clears throat> that's not like the thing is the UI is almost detrimentally simplistic. And uh I don't <laughs> I don't know where that ability went. Hermit turtle. Oh, that counts as an enemy. Steel turtle shell. Hey, little buddy. Oh God, what have I done? That poor little dude. 
It seems like we can wall run and stuff. My meat! Why are turtles the first enemy? Okay, so even enemies are basically like a resource, it seems. Wait, what are you? Hello. Need the tool bug net. Oh, okay. Dude, I can see this game getting like addicting. It's got a really nice game loop and everything about it just feels good. I honestly wasn't really expecting to enjoy this as much as I am. It's just, it's very chill, you know? Okay, so that refilled so the top's my energy the bottom's my food okay so that's the loop okay that makes sense die chicken so my point is i wonder whether or not enemies are even hostile in this game it might just be like another resource to farm Okay, and I definitely need to get my hands on a pickaxe. I want to be able to expand the island again and see what happens with that. Uh, oh, I can make one. Nice. Damage to mounds and plants. Everything seems to need flint at the moment. Let's make that. Oh, and then we can just make the last tool as well. Heck yeah. Oh, did not. There's my sword. Yeah, okay, so, and then swapping stuff around on hotkeys. Is it as simple as cl click and drag? Wow, that is so smooth. Whoo, I like that. Okay. Wait, why didn't I craft my other tools? Oh, you can't queue stuff. Okay, so that's why they want me to craft more than one crafting table. Okay, <laughs> that's a little bit annoying. I, okay, to be fair, I'm not a big fan of timed crafting because I feel like it's just something that would eventually become a bigger problem later, you know? Oh, this is all coal. I need the rocks specifically. 800, good lord. Also, my hunger is getting ridiculously low. And then I guess the point is that if I had... If I had better tools, then... I would be able to destroy things quicker, thus I wouldn't drain my hunger as much. Yeah, okay. But I can do this. Oh, my screen is flashing because the hunger. So if I start crafting this right here at the end, yeah, it just cancels the other craft. That's annoying. That's very annoying, but oh well. Uh, let's see for the research then. So I could go for that. What does this do? Allows you to read really important letters. Oh, is that the, is that the books that I got maybe? That's very expensive. This seems like the next thing they want me to make because that's cheap enough. See that. So I can sit there ready to craft the next thing, at the very least. I'm kind of surprised, like the food, I, I, I don't know if the food even feels like it's something that should be in this. It is in this and that's fine. It just kind of feels like it's just another step, you know what I mean? Okay, so this I didn't craft yet, because I'm noticing all the other tools have disappeared. Because those are finite resources. Oh, sand takes stone too. Oh, okay. Okay, so that will allow us to craft that new table. Utility. Production. Oh, the furnace. Right, stone. And then this is wood and brick. Okay, so we're not even at the point where we can do brick. Let's move that over, move that over. And then, where's that other food? 
Oh, I can just... Man, I really like this UI. It's very intuitive. Okay, let's do that. Let's see how much better this is. Whoa, way better. Very worth it. So I guess nighttime doesn't really seem to serve a purpose other than it's darker. Because otherwise, like, it's not like Minecraft where I'm like, oh, I have to sleep away the night. That's just to get my energy back up. Unless... Yeah, maybe, maybe the top bar is like my health bar and maybe that's constantly draining? I'm not sure. I know my food is constantly draining, so that's kind of the main priority resource. You know what? I want to see. Is the game smart enough? No, it isn't. To automatically swap my tool. Kind of wish it did. Maybe it would later. Because otherwise it's just an extra step, you know, for stuff like that. Ooh, lots of stone up here. Okay, so that's that's the advantage of the new biome, is it's going to give me a lot more of the higher tiered resources, if you even call that higher tiered. Thank you. Okay, let's see where we're at. Um, we want to craft the production stuff, so we want to make this furnace, which I should probably put over here. I guess as I build stuff, it's going to prevent things from respawning, though. So that's important to keep in mind. I need brick. Is brick out of you? Yes, it is, of course. I think I only needed two brick, which is sandstone and coal. Oh my god, the list. It keeps going on. And coal is needed for everything, I see. I can cook fish in here. There's glass as a material. I wonder if you can make housing. Coal can be made out of wood. Okay. Yeah, so it's not it's not too tedious. And that needed two brick. So I could craft that. Yeah, I could craft another one of these. So let's start crafting some copper. Just because I'm curious to see what that's going to unlock. Unless this game... This game seems like it's not entirely like Minecraft, where we're unlocking recipes through gaining new resources. You know, it's like we have to research it. Like specifically, this is how we progress. Advanced workbench. Okay. We're pretty close to that, but I kind of want to expand the island once more. All right, what's this do? Thread, leather, bug net, which requires thread, flour, copper ingot. Okay. Fishing rod. There's more advanced tools down here. Attraction cape. One mile extra pick a branch. Oh. Okay, that I like. Difficulty control requires skill. What does thread cost? Fibers? Okay. We can probably just convert everything into that at the moment. Oh my dear lord, that requires a lot. Okay. And then this is thread and hide. Yikes. Yeah, so then using the sword makes it so that we farm creatures faster. Okay. Okay, we'll probably expand the island once more. Just because I'm curious to see where this is going to go. Because I'm assuming it's also all random gen. And I mean, it makes sense with the high cost of the fiber because of how easy it is to farm it. But it sure does drain my energy. Okay, let's see here. 800? Yeah, let's go for it. Oh, okay, it went further in that direction. So we've got a new tree type. Is that a new stone? Still just normal rocks. I really like the music. Oh, okay, there we go. That's a bigger stone deposit. So it gives me more resources. Right, and I keep forgetting there's all these books that I keep getting too. So this isn't... No, it's not a different tree at all. Sorry, chicken. 
Okay, let's see here. Uh, shiny resources will appear within eight times loot and ten times credits. So every time I destroy ten of these, I get more, I guess? Creatures spawn 10% faster. Oh. See, I like that. I like when... I like when mechanics complement each other. So... There's so many games that have um, uh, what people refer to as parasitic design, where you mostly will want to just focus on one aspect of the game because it's the most beneficial to you and your experience. Dude, creatures respawn faster? Apparently all of this stuff counts as creatures. <laughs> Entities respawn faster, you mean? I can't farm these fast enough. But my point being is, all of the game mechanics in here seem to go into each other and complement each other. So it's like, oh, you want to actually get good or, or get more exploration because it's going to end up helping out uh, your resource gathering. And you want to gather more resources so you can get all these other items so that you can get better tools or get better uh, cooking, whatever else. And, you know, who knows what else is coming down the line. But that's really interesting. I like how it all kind of works hand in hand with itself. You know what I mean? Okay, let's see. So, wood and thread. Maybe we'll try and get the fishing line uh, before we call it for today. Because otherwise, like, my food's getting low. And it seems like as difficult as it is to gather a lot of these resources in bulk, it does seem easy to get them if you go for them specifically. You know what I mean? Like, like if I just... 100% start farming wood. I'm going to get a lot of wood really quickly. Versus if I just start farming everything and anything that I can. I'm going to have all my resources very, very slowly go up and increase. Which I know seems stupid to even like mention. But I'm just kind of realizing like the way that the game's set up, you know. So meat is also in our resource that's fairly easy to get. I don't know what this does. The one minute, is, is that satiation or whatever? Saturation? Like in Minecraft? Either way, all of those just got my hunger all the way back up. I kind of want to jump in the water too and see what happens. But let's see here. Uh, I want to get the fishing line. So I need thread and lots of it. Like a lot of thread. How do I... Oh, that was weird. I stood inside it for a second. Okay, I was wondering, where'd all my thread go? I had it, I just needed to actually pick it up. So unfortunately, time in the bed only seems to pass when we're, never mind, I was gonna say when I'm recharging my energy, but it seems like I can just wait. So that's nice. Okay. Let's get rid of this. Like, if there's some sort of base building or something, that'd be cool, but at the same time, I could totally understand why there wouldn't be base building in a game like this. It's probably just putting down crafting tables. Like, it seems like a very, very simplistic design. Which isn't bad. It's just... I'll say it's unique. I don't know if I've ever played a game like this. You know what I mean? Okay, so that gave us our fishing line. Let's see how this works. Is it just Minecraft fishing? Do I just wait until it bobs down? Okay. So I'm I'm left clicking to try and keep it in that range. That's very weird. That gave me a lot of money though. It's interesting. Uh, I'm not a big fan of fishing in most games, and this seems... It doesn't seem like the fish can get away, but it's really draining my hunger, like a lot. So I guess that's the negative side effect of it. And I guess fish would become like a bigger deal later on. I, I don't know. I mean, at the least, it's a... It's a very easy method of getting food. And it seemed to give a decent amount of money, so it, it would probably be the uh, the most efficient way of grinding. Uh, which I don't like, just because, again, I'm not the biggest fan of fishing. Yeah, that gives good food. 
actually. Yeah, really good food. Sweet! I, I like how everything's just kind of like unlocked as a resource. I mean, obviously you have a certain amount of the material, but that's that's neat. Very cool, very unique. What is that? Sounds like an alien. Okay, last thing. I was gonna say last last but not least, I needed to see what happened if I jumped in the water. So I actually just wanted to add a short segment onto the end of this video because I've been playing for quite a few hours. Uh, I've been recording all of it. I don't know if I'll do anything with the footage, we'll see. But I did wanna share my thoughts about the game because the further I played into it, the more annoyed with it I got. So I'll say this, if you are into this game and what the first 10 minutes gave, then this is for you. For me, what I really enjoyed about this game was that it was moving along at a very, very brisk pace. And now that I'm a few hours in and have just unlocked the third island, I can tell you that that pace, that speediness of progression slows down to a crawl. Because as you end up getting to this, like, you know, there's the first island, okay. Here's the second island. It's a color swap. There's a handful of new resources. Okay, whatever. But everything starts costing a significant amount more resources. Like you need a lot more wood to level up your tools to iron and so on and so forth. And even all of these power nodes and stuff, like what I found out is you can actually use a hammer to dismantle these and you get all the resources back. So it's almost the same as destroying the stuff on the first island and bringing it to the second island but you're just getting resources instead, which means that you're spending an awful lot of time in all of these different menus. And some of these menus have sub menus and it's just, it's not intuitive at this point anymore. Um, the main issue is that you can see there just becomes way too many crafting tables. And this is an issue that I have with these types of games specifically, like me, myself, I do not like this because this is overly complex when it doesn't need to be like the game mechanics themselves are so extremely basic and simple that it adds all of this clutter to try and hide that fact and make it seem like it's more complex than it is. And I'm not necessarily saying this in a negative sense. It's just that for me, I don't like this. I'm not into this. I, I still find it strange how many games come out and almost in a way they try to expand upon like what Minecraft did, right? And I'm not necessarily saying that this game is trying to be like Minecraft, but the whole different crafting tables thing and stuff like that, you know, that's definitely something that is inspired by Minecraft, right? The thing that I find frustrating is the crafting aspect of Minecraft is actually my least favorite aspect of that game, which is why I don't play it no more than I need to, right? Because I like adventuring. I like fighting things and gaining XP and leveling up and stuff. And I was really hoping that this game would evolve into that because there's so many different items that you can get like weapons and, uh, you know, things that specifically help you in combat. There is no combat. There's no dungeons. There, there's nothing like I don't even know why those items are in this game. It doesn't make any sense unless they're planned to come later or something. I, I don't know, but it took me like maybe an hour or two to get past the first island. It took twice as long to get past the second island. And I, I, I'm burnt out and I'm done with the game because I don't want to do the same thing again on this next island, you know? And uh, again, a lot of that could be mitigated by the fact that resources should cost a lot less. But, you know, I'm already over here. I've already upgraded and gotten a second island. And that's it, it's, you know, it's the same thing. We're still dealing with mounds of sand. We're still dealing with trees. Granted, they're just a lot tankier. They give a little bit more resources. Okay, cool. Here's a new resource. Here's a new resource. Uh, gold, coal is still used, you know. Everything was already experienced on the first island. And all it does is the same thing, but more. Which, if that's what you're into, good on you. But for me, I did play up to this part, and this is a pretty significant amount of the game. But I'm not planning on playing any further than that. And I just wanted to share my thoughts now that I've put some serious time into the game where my expectations 
were not met. But again, it's not that it's a detriment to the game itself. It's not that the game is bad in any way, shape or form. It's just for me personally, like this first island was the funnest aspect of it and everything else was just meddling and felt like it was intentionally wasting my time. But anyways, on that note, thanks for watching.